hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today we will learn how to get details of element on web page in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely let's get started so as you can see here on this uh, i have accessed x rates portal and let's say i want to extract the details of this element right us dollar exchange rate stable if I right click and go to inspect here you see that this element is this is a span element it has a class and it has a it has a text value which is US dollar exchange rates table right if I go to power automate and let's say because this website is already open so in that in this case what i will do is i will choose launch new chrome and here i will choose attach to running instance because the browser is already opened and uh, we have access the portal and yet i will use the title okay so i will not use the full title i will just use the part of it and the instance will be stored in the browser variable so click on save okay and then i will use the get details of element on web page as you can see the browser instance is already selected and then i will click on ui element then come and click on add UI element and here we have to highlight the element that you want to capture right and then press ctrl left mouse click element is captured click on and then and here you see that the output will be stored in the attribute value as you can see so it is giving you an op option to choose like what do you want to get from this uh, at element so you, do you want own text or do you want the title of it or do you want source link or h reference or exits so whether this element exists or not so let's say first I will go ahead with the own text then click on save and then just run the bot and then you will see the value of uh, the attribute value will have some value here. So bot is running now and it will give the details of that element which is US dollar exchange rate stable. Go to the power automate as you can see here that it has US dollar exchange rate stable as the value. And let's say change the title. Oh, sorry, let's change the attribute as title so if that element has an attribute which is a title then it will return that value so now the bot is going to run and then it will extract the value of the title if it has back to the power automate and you see that it is empty because it does not have that attribute so let's change it to so let's say it says a source link okay click on save 
but as you can see here that it does not have the source link right so let's say let's edit this element and say src and say www.google.com so now we have given the source link attribute here let's close it go back to the power automate and let's run the bot and then you will see that it will be able to get the value of that src attribute of this element come back to the power automate and you see that it has the value as google.com right so you uh, basically what you have to do is you have to specify the attribute so let's say you have an element and uh, uh, and you want to get the source link of that element not the you know text of that element in that case you can choose the source link attribute from the advanced section and if you want title you want href you know that and all you can check so if in this case we use exists so it will return the value as true or, or false right so let's run the bot and then you will see that attribute value will have true because that element actually exists and if you navigate to some other portal you know some other page and in that case the that particular you know element will not exist and then the value will be false if you come back and see in the power automate the value is true correct so this is how you can uh, use the get details of element on web page action in power automate desktop so let's do one thing let's change the uh, element here now so we'll select another element on this page and let's take the x rates element right and then press ctrl plus left mouse click as you can see the element is captured click on done and then click on save so let's say here you want uh, the value of h reference so just click on save and see what will be the value here let's run the bot and now you will see that it will have it it is not having some value in the attribute value variable because that href is not there right so if you come here and see I'll just highlight this element you see it has source element source attribute but it does not have that href uh, you know attribute so let's do one thing just add this href attribute and see how it is going to work and now you will see that it will try to extract the value and you see it has www.google.com right
so this is how you can use the get details of element on web page so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section and if you want to create a, a video on some specific topic then please let me know in the comments so that i can create uh, that video for you thank you for watching have a great day